I am doing a little bit of traveling today and I thought I would multitask and share with you some of my latest purchases. I picked up 10 Vogue sewing patterns and I am going to share them with you. I'm excited about these. I have this big mic clip to the front of my top because there's music playing and I want to make sure you can hear me. All right. So the first one that I want to share is Vogue 1820 and it looks like this. I actually thought that this was a dress but it's not. It's actually a skirt and a top. And I really love the skirt. It calls for wovens or knits. But if I were making it, I think I would go for a woven in this. And yes, I think the skirt is really unique. This next one is Vogue 1685. And I really like view A. And this is another pattern that calls for woven fabrics. I can actually see these pants being made up in maybe like a faux leather. I think they're really cute. They have the little front pockets and the wide legs. The next one is Vogue 9278 and this also calls for woven fabrics. So crepe, shawley, georgette. And when I saw this I think it was view B in the catalog. I love the way it looked on the model. So I was like, okay, I'll give this a try. It was that picture in the catalog that actually sold me on this one. Next is Vogue 1809. I really love view A. This is another one that calls for woven fabrics. And I really love the sleeves. Um, I think, are they called petal, petal sleeves, I think. And I think if I make this or when I make this, that I probably will do away with the little mini collar here at the top and just, you know, make it without that. But yes, I am really loving this one with those sleeves. Next is the Vogue 1686 another one that calls for woven fabrics and view a shows on the back it doesn't show it on the front but it shows contrasting fabric for the skirt portion i really don't see a difference between view a and b other than you know it's it's showing that you can make view a with the contrasting skirt at the bottom so i think this is really cute it might even look cute with like a skirt Next is Vogue 1814. This is another one that calls for woven fabrics. I could not tell whether I like view A or B more. So it looks like view B has just a longer skirt portion than view A, but otherwise I think they are pretty much the same. Next we have Vogue 1683. I really love view B, which is the one here in black and white. I just think that is just super, super nice. And this also calls for woven fabrics like crepe linen. Next is a new fall pattern, I believe. I'm trying to see if there's a year on here. It says 2020, so maybe it isn't. But it is Vogue 1583. I like view B, which is this one here. And it just reminds me of a loose fitting sweatshirt. It looks very comfortable. It does say that it's made for drapey knits or woven. Next is Vogue 1401. This is an average pattern. It does call for applique and trim. Also made in woven fabric. If I were making this, I would not include the applique or the trim and I would just you know make it as it is without the extra you know additions I really like the ties on the sleeve and I like that the dress looks kind of full and then it kind of goes in and narrows at the bottom and the last one that I have is Vogue 1806 
this is an advanced pattern it does call for lace and then underlining so I did actually read through this to see what it you know takes to make it up and the underlining is what you will put in if you decided to use lace so that you wouldn't be able to see through the lace and see your body under the lace. I realized through looking at the directions that you can actually make this without the underlining if you just use like a regular fabric that's not see-through. So I was like, okay, I can definitely see myself, you know, making this up without lace and just having, you know, the cute wide leg jumpsuit. My love share is something I learned about recently, a product that I did not know existed. And that is, wait, what is it? Edible nail polish. It's really a thing. 